Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys my recent coffee favorites. Everything that is coffee related, not necessarily a pod or like Nespresso things, things that I use at my coffee bar that I've been enjoying. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. I was gonna take my sweater off, but I'm kind of chilly, so I'll leave it on as long as I can because it does get in the way sometimes with like the sleeves and stuff. But I'm gonna start with the spoons. I've had a few people ask me like randomly about the spoons. I'm actually surprised not many people really care about them, but I've had a few. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I have. I was gonna talk about these. These are the first ones that I had, but I can't find them anymore. I got these at Bed Bath & Beyond in person, so I don't even know like if there's a link for it. I've tried and I just can't find them. But these are the ones that I wanted to talk about. I've seen these on Nespresso's website for a long time. And this is, I think they're called the View Spoons, and this is their smallest one. And they have Nespresso's like logo on the back of them, and they're just really cute and circle. They have like a little, like indentation or dip here. I thought they were nice. I wanted them about the same size as my current spoons because I like this size. I feel like this size works really well with a lot of cups. And if the cup is too tall, then at that point I just use a straw to mix. And I think you get a pack of six and they're not that pricey in my opinion. So I'll link them down below for you guys. But just know that I got the smallest one. They fit pretty well like I'm sure you guys have seen in some of my reels, I, I've used this spoon and like, for example, this is a huge cup and I, I don't know, it's easy for me to mix the amount of coffee. So, so I like them. I like the size. They're not too big and they're not too, too small. That brings me to my next coffee item that I like. This little bowl. This bowl is from Crate and Barrel. I bought it in person and I actually found the link. The picture in the link looks different but I know it's the same bowl. I'm sure they're handmade, so there are gonna be some discrepancies between each bowl, but that is the bowl that I bought. So my spoons fit very nicely in the bowl. Here, I'll put all of them <laughs> so you guys can see. Yeah, I don't know, I just think they look really cute. And the wood just adds a little bit of color, not too much to my coffee bar, because as many of you know, I like white, so a lot of the things in my coffee bar tend to be white, but I like adding those wooden details to add a little bit more color, more like earthiness. And I do have to add plants, but I don't know if you guys know, we're moving soon. We're trying to sell our current home. And so I don't want to add too much to the space anymore because I don't know how our next space is going to be. So that's where I'm at right now as far as adding like random design stuff. Okay, the next item, I don't know if I've ever talked about this. It's a handheld frother, and I do have the Aeroshino from Nespresso. Um, it works okay. I don't hate it. Like, I, I've never found anything wrong with it. But for some reason, this handheld frother froths oat milk better than the Aeroshino. Uh, my Aeroshino froths almond milk really, really well, and then just regular milk really really well but for some reason oat milk is just weird with the frother so this handheld frother has proven to be really really good and i think it was like no more than 20 bucks super lightweight they have tons of different colors of course i just got a white one the only bad part is obviously is that if you want to froth your milk warm then you have to warm up your milk first and then froth it but it froths really really well and you can actually control the amount of um like air i guess coming in i noticed that sometimes like i'll like for some reason like hold it a certain way and you see more bubbles and then you kind of move it around and it reduces the amount of bubbles and makes the milk a little bit more milky and like shiny which is what is supposed to be perfect for latte art which i'm still trying to figure that out i actually forgot about that i'm not not gonna lie <laughs> but um i do want to start trying latte art so we'll see how that goes but i think this is going to be like the thing that i use if i do end up doing latte art moving on these two little cups if you follow me on instagram you have definitely seen these i think i might have shown these on uh the last video that i uploaded in the mexico recipe these are just espresso pourers sometimes i want to brew the coffee but not directly on my cup because i'll do milk first or like ice first you know so I like putting them in these and they're really, really cute. They're super inexpensive. I think they were like $8 or less and they come in a two pack. They are big enough to hold a double shot of espresso. 
They're not big enough for long goals. Um, so just two shots of espresso or a single shot will fit. And then you can go ahead and do your recipe however you want. I think it's nice to have like all your ingredients and then just kind of pour everything in there. So I thought this was a really nice, um, cute little like accessory to have. Again, with the wooden handles, they have a ton on Amazon, but I, I just thought these were really cute. And when I store them, they do stack up on top of each other in case you need more like space. Um, Cause a lot of coffee bars tend to be on the smaller side. So they're just really cute. So the next tool I think I showed also in my last video. This is a measuring spoon. It's a one tablespoon. I recently found the need for this because I've had so many people ask me the exact amount of syrup. And I've said it before, I think syrup and even the amount of milk sometimes is very, very relative. Like it depends on the person, but there's still some people that just wanna know how much I put in my coffee. And so usually I'll start with one tablespoon and then if that's not sweet enough, then I'll add another one. But it's usually not more than two tablespoons. I think at that point, it's a little bit too, too much syrup in your coffee especially because I'm trying to cut down on sugar. But yeah, I thought this was really cute. It does come in a set, so I'll show you guys the rest of them. I accidentally put this one in the dishwasher and the wood looks a little bit more used. If you guys do get them, I, I would say just hand wash them because otherwise they'll look like this, like the shininess wore off. But yeah, it comes in a set of four, so it's like one tablespoon, one teaspoon, half a teaspoon, and then quarter teaspoon and they're not expensive and they actually have the cups so if you guys like having a whole set they do have the cups which i can also link for you guys but i don't own those i just got the the spoons okay the next favorite i had to take out of my fridge because apparently you have to refrigerate it let me go get it here they are okay i'm gonna put them down so i don't want to break them but this is called pink house alchemy is the brand and they are syrups they're a small batch simple syrup company actually they do like other types of stuff too but they're like small batch so the quality of the syrup is really really good and you can taste it like i actually enjoy it they're the type of syrup that tastes like actual ingredients like like they just literally made them now and i thought it was interesting that you have to refrigerate it so that it keeps the freshness and they're a little bit more pricey like than your normal like torani or monin and you do get 16 fluid ounces in the bottles but they're so good so if you guys are interested this is my favorite flavor this is called ph delight and this one is a honey vanilla and cinnamon syrup Oh my god, it is so good. Their toasted caramel was okay. It I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I, I was actually a little surprised that I wasn't blown away by it, but it is really good. It's again, it's not overly sweet. It's it's just a really nice flavor and it feels like it's like freshly made kind of syrup like at home. That's what I like about it. And this is my second favorite. This is the vanilla bean syrup. This one was actually really good. And it's funny because you could actually see the vanilla bean like little tidbits in the syrup. And then I have hazelnut, but I have no idea how it tastes. And this is how mom brain has been lately. I can't remember. I just can't remember if I was even the one that tried this one or if I made a coffee for my husband. So I'm not gonna talk too much about hazelnut. Maybe I'll try it later on today with my iced coffee, but overall these syrups did not disappoint one of my followers actually recommended me uh trying them and they're actually really good so if you're gonna try them and you're like into honey vanilla cinnamon i would definitely try the ph delight because that is my favorite oh and i forgot to mention they do sell them on amazon and i think amazon i think they're 20 bucks there for some reason if you buy directly from their website they're 15 or 16 dollars and i think they have like free shipping depending on like how much you spend i mean if, i guess if you're buying just one bottle it's worth it from amazon because you don't have to pay shipping if you have prime but if you want like more than one it's definitely cheaper to go directly from their site all right the next item that i want to share with you guys is this and i'm sharing with you guys because not only do i really really like this little cup for my iced coffees but a lot of you guys liked seem to like it on instagram and I can't remember how many links I shared with people since I don't have the swipe up. I just have to like directly send the links or like, you know, tell them to go to my Amazon page. But I bought this on Amazon and it's just like a little cute mason jar and it has a lid with a circle or <laughs> with a hole for your straw. Iced coffee looks like super cute in this cup because it has like that diamond etched 
detail and i'll show you guys the straws that it came with i'm not too i'm not too crazy about the straws it came with like a boba smoothie straw it's huge though so i don't really like find a need for it and then it came with like just the same one but thinner so if you guys want like a smaller straw it comes with it but i personally think it just looks cuter with like a glass straw this is a pink glass straw i can link this too but it's also on my amazon page and that's how i usually like to drink it i thought i'd share the milk that i've been really like obsessing over i think i've you know i've shared it in many of my videos as far as like recipes i think especially on my reels you'll see this milk come up time and time again but i don't think i've ever like literally talked to you guys about my milk preference for a while i started drinking almond milk and it was pretty good like i still enjoy it i don't hate it i actually still have a few cartons in my fridge but ever since I tried oat milk, I think I tried the Oatly first and I enjoyed it. But then I tried this one and it was like so much better. I don't know what it is. It might just be because it's a little sweeter. But this one, like the extra creamy one, I feel like is super creamy. And it makes all of my drinks really dreamy, creamy, yummy. So I thought I'd share with you guys my type of milk. This is the Silk Extra Creamy Oat Milk, and it says full fat. Super good. And yeah, I think that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little like update on my recent coffee favorites. If you guys like these type of videos, kind of showing you guys my new like purchases that I've been enjoying, give this video a thumbs up and I'll know to keep making them. And like always, if you guys have any more video requests of like, future videos leave them in the comments i will definitely keep those coming i have tons of videos in my to-do list so just keep them coming it helps the girl out and yeah i think that is it for today's video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye